Ciao ragazzi, benvenuti. Oggi vediamo insieme come costruire un piega. Hi folks, today we are going to make something very interesting. I dream about a machine like this since 15 years almost. And now that I have enough space to store the machine and also all the pipes I'm going to buy, I can make myself a pipe bending machine. I also need it because I want to make myself a kite buggy, which is a vehicle that can move using the wind and a very huge kite. This will be a later on a new project and I also bought a new house and I need to put furniture inside. And I decided to make myself design furniture with stainless steel. So let's start with the project. I just bought in a local shop this very long strip of metal. I chose one, it's, it's quite thick because this machine will be very, very, very strong. It will exercise a lot of load. So I mark with a marker some lines on this metal strip and using a grinder, I can cut it in three pieces. I suggest you to take your time, do the thing slowly because you have to be precise, you have to make a very straight cut. So these are the parts I just cut. I also put some measurements here in inches so you know what I'm doing. The small one is 26 cm long and the other one is 60 cm long. So let's start to work on this very long strip. I cut it, I mark the halfway of it and add 9.5 cm on each side of the half. Now I can trace two lines here, one on the right and one on the left, and divide this line in six precise dots. I suggest that you use a calculator to do this so you're sure that you are doing a precise job. Now on these dots I mark with a marker, I can drill some holes, some holes. I decide to use very good quality drill bits to make very precise holes. And it's also a good idea to use a punch to mark the holes better so that the drill bit will spin subtly in that spot. It's a very funny story, this punch I'm using comes out from the darts, it's a play, playing dart from a pub, and the stainless steel is so strong that it can punch holes in the metal without problems. This is soft metal in, in any way. So the drill, the, drill, the drill press and the drill bit took forever. To drill all these holes, it took me about one hour. And to repeat the procedure is very easy, just apply the other part on the other side. Now let's take some wheels. This came apart from a like, factory wheel. And this is so old that the rubber is all dry. I'm pretty sure it will break very, very easy later on when I'm working with it. So I prefer to remove the rubber using a hammer. You can see that it isn't even anymore elastic. It's not even rubber. It's so, so dry that it breaks like plastic. So I have now some ball bearings that spin on top of two steel tubes. Now I have to choose a shaft that goes inside. I decided to use this, that is stainless steel. I'm pretty sure it's absolutely very, very strong. It came apart from a huge PC printer. Now let's take a drill bit that has the, the same dimension of the shaft I chose. This is like 15 centimeter, I think. And I can use some oil to drill and enlarge the holes I drilled earlier. I prefer to do it like this, like step by step, making a smaller hole and then enlarge it to the right dimension so that I have a precise Job. You can see now that all the holes align perfectly. The smaller plate will be the base for a jack. This is a 14 ton jack. I know it is not so much, but I'm I also thinking to add a little bit of space. That's why I'm making it so high so that I can replace the jack with a stronger one if I need it, but I'm pretty sure I can use this for my job. Two brackets, also these are very thick, it's five, five millimeters thick, will be the brackets that hold together the base to the longer metal plate. I can, use, I can do some math to calculate the angle where I need to cut these brackets, but I prefer to use like a marker and just mark the place where I need to cut it. This way I save some time and I'm sure that if I'm doing it, if I'm doing it uh, slowly and be as much precise as possible, I would end up to have the preferred alignment of, of all the parts. You can see now that this fit perfectly here on the top. I'm very, very happy about the result. And also on the base, it's 
great, great precision. So before welding the parts together, I, I decided to, to add some spacers. These are just wood blocks and some stone blocks will keep the base at 90 degree angle. So adding the brackets, one on the left and one on the right, and now using the welder, I can weld the parts together. This also takes some time, took some time, but I guarantee welding for me is so relaxing that I really enjoy spending time this way. I also like feel addicted to the smell of the weldings, even, I, even I, if I have a couple of fans here in my shop. So the first bracket is welded in place. The other one has to be spaced a little bit more. It has to be the same space of the width of the wheels. So the wheels are like 10 centimeters thick, 8 centimeters thick. So in this case also I add like a stone block and some wood blocks to keep the other bracket perfectly aligned and at the same height. So I can weld the parts together and repeat the procedure on all the sides. I suggested to do very strong and thick weldings because I repeat you, this machinery will, will stand a lot of force. So do the things very, very hard. I paint everything in orange. And now the best part is this one. I decided to recycle this water pipe because I have to make like curves, like something that can bend the pipe without breaking it, without pressuring it. I already ordered a couple of these parts on Amazon, but I just want to try it before the parts arrive. So I decided to make myself the bending part. You can't even imagine how excited I am right now. I dream to own a machine like this, a pipe bender, since like 10 years. I also I always dream about to make myself things. Now I have my welding machine, I'm practicing with it, with it and the welding comes even every day much nicer. So I just need to have something to bend the pipes and make better projects. So this will make the my, it's, it's a life changer for me, it's a game changer. So the jack goes here on the base. I plan to also change the, the jack because this is only 14 tons jack, which, which is enough for bending the pipes I'm planning to use, but I will never know. Maybe in the future, I'm going to make bigger projects and I need to have a bigger jack. So that's the reason why I have so much space from the base and the top part of the jack. It's almost, I think it's almost like 40 centimeter and it's it's a very high distance but i can also put something on the bottom part between the jack and the base the metal base so that they can lift up a little bit the jack the jack itself has a very huge problem that i can solve using these two big springs i mean the jack cannot go down by itself once it's all the way lifted up once it's all extended up, cannot go down by itself. Even if I open, there is a, like a small valve, the jack cannot go down by itself. If I need to put some force on the top, but because everything is so compact inside the, the bending machine, I cannot do it. So I hope that the springs can bring back down the, the parts. I put on some links here on Amazon. If you are curious, I put these components that are precisely made for pipe bending machine. You can just buy uh, single parts if you need them or all the set if you want and the price is quite good so check it out. So this can be fitted here, is a very good fit here on top of the jack and then I can hook the springs, one here on the right and one on the other side on the left. So I hope that the springs have enough force to bring everything down. It's the first time I'm, I'm doing, I'm using this machine with you, so I'm not sure if it will work or not. So the, now it's time to install the wheels. These are ball bearings, are very, very, very strong and stuff, stiff materials. So one goes here on the right and one goes on the left, and I can secure them with two metal pins that I cut away from the PC printer shaft. So this, you can see that the shaft fits perfectly, one on the right and one on the left. And remember also to place the ball bearings inside. So maybe it's a good idea to, to insert the ball bearing before a pin. So now it's time to test the machine. I decide to use something you are pretty familiar with. This is just water pipes that are soft metal, so it will be quite easy. But I guarantee you these are very, very strong. It's almost impossible to bend it by hand. So I can place it between the jack and the two wheels. Let's see.
Se apro questa valvola si toglie la pressione e le molle tirano in giù il crick. Vediamo se le molle funzionano. Oh sì! Ed eccolo qua, il tubo si è piegato e ci ho messo quanto? Tipo qui. And I have no words. The machine, the, the pipe bender works great. I had a small problem because consider that this is just my very first time using this pipe bender and the problem I'm talking about is that the pipe has spun too much. I have like almost a 90 degree angle and I'm pretty sure I can solve the problem just filling up the pipe with some sand or filling up the pipe with water and soap and stick it in the freezer so that the pipe can freeze but the soap can guarantee like a smooth cracking of the ice inside the pipe and you don't get like a, a 90 degree angle crack but i'm also sure that once all the parts i ordered on amazon will arrive i can make better curve and solve the problem so at this point i leave with my two previous projects so check them out and see you next week in the do it yourself tutorial ciao ciao